Ladies and gentlemen, on the Visa YouTube channel recently, we have delved into the world of video essays and football investigations. And today we have got a brand new investigation going into the world of football shirts. Let me set the scene. Imagine if you were wanting a Lionel Messi match worn shirt. You research for days upon weeks upon months. Let's say that you spent $7,000 to acquire a match worn Messi shirt shirt and when you get your shirt you've done your research you've done your due diligence and when you get it in person you proof it yourself it was a lie the entire time setting you back thousands of pounds with no way to get a refund you my friend have just been scammed. This is the story of Ellis Away Days, a YouTuber that I'm sure you're aware of on this platform. In this video alongside Ellis, Ellis say hi Hello, Liam. Say that I like Jesse Marsh a lot. I like Jesse Marsh a lot. There you go, confirmation right there, boys. With his help and guidance, I'm going to be showcasing the many scams and frauds of the football shirt community. And maybe if you aren't even in the world of shirts, this is also an interesting thing to keep in mind about what is going on. If you're new here, then please do subscribe to the channel. We have gained about 13,000 subscribers in the last month, which is incredible. And as well, let's hit 3,000 likes because you guys have been smashing the like targets available recently. And with that said, comment down below your all-time favorite football shirt. For me personally, I would say the Germany 1994 World Cup home shirt. I just love the design. And... Let's get into the video. If you play FIFA 23 and want to improve your team but not go for the effort of actually playing the game, then make sure to go down below in top of the description to use them and buy. And make sure at checkout to use code VISA for 5% off. So let us start off with how I introduced the video. So on May the 4th, 2022, Ellis Awedes uploaded a video titled, I purchased a match-worn Lionel Messi shirt. Now on Ellis's channel, it has become a massive project of him to become an illustrious owner of a match-worn Messi shirt. If you aren't already aware, a Messi match-worn shirt is one of the most illustrious items that you can gain as a collector in the world of football shirt collecting. Not only is it because of the player himself and his stature, but due to the rarity of it. And the reason is, is that, as you can imagine, if any footballer play against Barcelona, and we've seen it all the time on TV and in many interviews, they want messy shirts. 95% of the time, messy shirts get given to coaches, to players of the opposition team for pretty much every single game. I remember hearing a story on Ben Foster's podcast that when a team comes up against Argentina or Barcelona, you may have 15 or 20 different players on the other team beforehand reaching out to the club to get given a shirt from Messi. And this happens every single game guaranteed. That's why when Ellis published a video saying that he actually has obtained a Messi shirt, it was a massive deal for the football shirt community. In this video, it went out to Orlando to meet a guy called Ronnie Almeida. Ronnie Almeida was quite a well-established seller in the football shirt community, selling his items on websites such as Gold Inn. And looking at the story that he gave to Ellis, it all seemed quite reasonable, stating that this was a Lionel Messi worn jersey against Girona in 2019 and it was a shirt that he worn for the first half, passing images and side by sides of the like. And for example, to get into how detailed this entire scam was is that, for example, the shirt number on his back, with La Liga there is dots in the shirt and with each game, the dots on the shirt actually changes game by game. This is done purposely to make sure that when selling shirts, match worn for example, it is done in a fair way that you can keep on top of things. And in this process, everything checked up. The dots in the number looked all spot on and all the details given looked all spot on. So when he met Winnie Almeida in Orlando with his friend and he passed over not only getting the shirt, spending $7,000, but also passing over a $1,000 dollar value Sergio Aguero shirt. This was a match-worn Sergio Aguero shirt versus Guatemala, a shirt that Ellis obtained. He passed out over alongside the $7,000 for it. And how the shirt got to the seller was because a Girona player gave it to him directly. Over time, you're going to find out that the story doesn't exactly hold up. So how did Ellis find out that a shirt was in fact not genuine? Inside every single Nike shirt has a product code, which of course you cannot see until you actually 
actually get the shirt in person. When Ellis went online and simply put the product code into Google, it showed up that it was in fact a player issued Barcelona shirt. However, while researching this product code, he found a link to a website from a, a South American eBay which seemingly showed the exact same shirt that he bought with stating nothing to do with it being match worn, nothing to do with a Girona player, simply stating that it was a player issued messy shirt. After Ellis realizes that he has been done here, he reaches out to the seller in which he gave him 40 hours to reach out and to offer him a refund as Ellis clearly found out that it wasn't a match worn shirt and the story fell apart in itself he simply didn't reach back. And to this day, almost a full year later, no information or no refund has been given, no communication, and the reputation of Ronnie Almeida has fallen to oblivion, which of course, there is still rumors that he is still trying to sell under no name. There's this listing on golden.com, which I'm showing, and this has been highly speculated that it is still Ronnie Almeida trying to sell his items, which he knows he can't sell anymore as his name has now been tarnished. But to make sure the story does end off on a positive note, Ellis got reached out by by someone personal to I believe the ex-driver of Lavezzi and it was a 2012-13 match worn shirt that Messi wore against PSG in a pre-season friendly. Through email and through the sudden chance that someone actually reached out to him and with further research was able to confirm that the shirt was legitimate. So happy ending for Ellis. To further go into the match worn shirt community, I want to showcase this event right here. Midway through last year, there was an auction on Graham Bud Auctions and it was of a very particular shirt that caught a lot of attention. This was the Sergio Aguero number 16 jersey worn in that match against QPR in 2011 2012. This shirt was online and before the live auction even began, it already caught up the bids of £48,000. The story behind the shirt caught the attention because it stated in the description that the shirt was left and found in a bag in the Man City changing room. You would imagine in that situation, in an event like that, that surely either Sergio Aguero or the club would have ensured that that shirt would be kept safe and sound. Further research showed that when comparing, and I can't believe I'm going into this, but the dots on the shirt above the Etihad logo didn't match the shirt on display for the auction. Which sounds crazy, but when you are buying a shirt for as much money as £48,000 and potentially even more, you've got to look into every single fine detail and comparing on Getty Images, the player on the pitch wearing it and exactly every mark and every detail. This is one big example of how much money these shirts can go for and how easy they can be to be caught up and to be found to be not legitimate. When speaking to Ellis about it in his own personal experience when speaking about match worn shirts he found that 90% of match worn shirts aren't really match worn and may catch up in a lot of grey areas for example a lot of shirts being given are just simply shirts that could have been player issued but were never actually worn and the only way to really prove it to be legitimate is by a very good source let's go into a different world now so this is what you are witnessing is a 1972 Pele game used and signed shirt with this shirt comes along with a Certificate of Authenticity. Ticity. I'm so sorry, I am awful with that word. I do sincerely apologize. You know what I mean. Stated that it was gifted to a tango legend, Hugo Del Carrillo, after the match, with a signature on a shirt and allegedly was gifted by his son. Now, I am not here to say that this shirt is real or not. It could it could very well be, but my only problem is I think that this is a massive grey area that you can fabricate so much of this and make bank. You can never really prove that it is a match worn shirt unless if you get it directly, if you are being given it by the player hand to hand. In the last few years, a popular trend has appeared online in the realm of mystery football shirts. And in this video, I want to give some context into these companies and with the research found online. When you go on TikTok and you Google mystery football shirts, you see TikTokers pick up some fantastic shirts online. And it makes you think, if a TikToker, a YouTuber, an influencer was to be given a shirt to go and open and publicize online, wouldn't you think that the company would want to send them a good shirt to show off? Now, in my own personal experience, I've only ever worked with one mystery football shirt company, which was over a year ago. And was with Secret Shirt Call, in which they sent me a Frankfurt home shirt of that season. Now, of course, they knew that I was an influencer and was going to promote it online. Now, do I think that that was an insane shirt to send me? 
I don't think it particularly was, so I would like to say that they didn't, for my own personal experience, give me a insane shirt to particularly sell to my audience. Now, Ellis has done videos before in the past when buying a shirt under a false name of just being a regular consumer and then getting another package from the same website while being an influencer. And what he found is that there is seemingly a better quality and more higher price shirt being given to the influencers in his own small research. I must say that the sample size is relatively small, but in his own research in the past, he did find there to be more value given to influencers than when it comes to the common audience. However, on other occasions that he's paid £35 for a mystery football shirt, he literally can predict what shirt he's going to get. By looking at classicfootballshirts.com and looking at the best value shirts that he would think would be appealing to put into them, he literally guessed that Sevilla would be a shirt that he would get. The Sevilla shirt was up for £11.99 and he paid £35 for it. The shirt that he got was a Girona 1920 home shirt, which cost £25 on classic football shirts. Now, of course, this isn't to state that every single shirt is a scam. In one of his videos, he got a Ethiopia shirt that cost £49 online, in which he spent about 42 for it. So actually, seemed like he got good value. My stance with mystery football shirts is that if you really want to delve into this world, just give a family member or a friend of yours like 30 quid or something and just let them get you a shirt. At least by then you know that it will be good value and also it will be at least authentic. Because in other research by Ellis, for example, he got a mystery football shirt from a supplier on eBay in which gave him fake football shirts and uh, not even authentic ones. Here is another story of a viewer on the channel who gave me a lot of information about a shirt that he bought. He's a Watford fan and he bought a Moose to Sissoko shirt of a shirt that he allegedly wore in a match against Liverpool. Spending a lot of money on the shirt and finding out that it was actually not real when comparing the shirt side by side compared to images in real life, it didn't match. Do I think they are good people in this community? Absolutely, they are people that do do a good job and want to do the right thing. However, there are definitely a lot of people that seeks a great opportunity. When there's money to be made, people will go to it. But that is my own personal opinion. Thank you to Ellis Awades for sourcing me a lot of information for this video. It does help out a lot. And I hope that you guys found this interesting too. Tell me your thoughts, experiences with match worn shirts or with mystery shirts or anything to do with the shirt community. And of course, if you guys do enjoy, smash a like button and also subscribe to the channel. Let's try to hit 3,000 likes and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.